What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is a official comparison of benchmarks of the new Snapdragon 855 processor versus some phones that had the Snapdragon 845 processor and 835 processor. Let's see the big differences thus far. Now with any upgraded processor, you should always see improvements and you can definitely see the improvements with the Snapdragon 855, the top one on the left here. This is the reference point. Uh, it's not in an official phone as you can see some of the other ones. Um, but basically with the Snapdragon 845, people were getting scores around 2400 on the Geekbench 4 uh, single core score. And uh, you can see that on the 835, you can, whereas it's on the Pixel 2 XL and OnePlus 5T, it was getting out 1900. So it's increased uh, just off the reference point, almost over a thousand points uh, for the Geekbench uh, single core score. When you go to the multi-core score, you get 11,000 versus, you know, about 9,000 on last generation's processor and then 6,000 on the generation before that. So again, big improvements thus far. And then you can just looking, you know, side left to right and then down, just improvements across the board, significant improvements. So the Snapdragon 855 is looking like a beautiful performing processor thus far versus the last couple of generations. And what that means for you is a better performing phone, have it be with gaming, day-to-day -day operations, uh, maybe you video edit on there, it's gonna perform better doing that kind of stuff. Um, just using the phone overall, you're gonna get much better performance and probably even less and less lag as time goes on. As phones get older, sometimes Android phones slow down a little bit. As time gets older, this should definitely help with that. Next up, we talked about this a few weeks ago about the Galaxy Note 8 getting the Android 9 Pi beta build and it is officially out thus far, only in three countries. Those countries being South Korea, the UK, and India. And the update itself is about 1.8 gigabytes. So it's a you know pretty big uh, uh, beta build. So one of the cool things that it comes with, as you can see right here, is it includes night mode scheduling option, meaning it will turn your phone dark um, during certain hours of the days that you see fit. I like that. I don't have that currently on my phone, my Galaxy Note 9. Uh, but this is a great feature to have, uh, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to read your phone as the day goes on. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 9 stable build, basically the official version, not the beta version of the Pi update. Uh, it has officially come out in Australia and South Korea. So if you live in one of those two countries, you can download the official build right now for your Galaxy Note 9 and be all stable. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, have you downloaded the Galaxy Note 9 or S9 uh, stable build of the Android Pi beta software, or maybe even just the, the beta? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it so far, if you have it. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you down the road.